Thank you for coming back to my channel for your stimulus package update. Please subscribe to my channel. Please leave your thumbs up and please leave your comments. First of all, I want to say thank you so much for all the support that you give me on this channel. I really do appreciate you for that. And I also appreciate my haters. Thank you very much, haters. Bitcoin, WhatsApp, cryptocurrency of any kind that you see in my comment section, please do not fall for that stuff. It is not me. We the People, if you want your comments put over on the We the People website, please start it by saying We the People. We will take it over there for you. Okay, we do have some good news for Social Security recipients, and I will cover that in a minute, but I got three other little things that I want to cover first, and I will make it as fast as I can. And then after I cover the Social Security part, the good news for Social Security, I uh, will answer some questions. Okay, Little Red Lion Hood, Jen Saki is at it again, covering Little Joe's ass. Reporter Peter Ducey asked her, why was a president in a store standing next to a sign that says masks are required at all times? Everyone else in the store had a mask on, except for Lil Joe. Little Red Lion Hood, Jen Saki replied. Mm, excuse me, I almost sneezed there. The president follows all COVID guidelines. But it was plain as day that he did not follow the guidelines because he was standing there with no mask on. Everyone else had a mask on. Pictures don't lie. What a hypocrite he is. What makes him any better than anyone else? Peter Dubridge, I can't say his last name. He's the head of transportation. You remember him. Uh, he had to take two months off of his job when him and his husband adopted a baby. I don't know why he took two months off when him and his husband adopted a baby. Uh, neither one of them are able to breastfeed, I don't believe. So we paid them to do nothing but take a two month vacation. Meanwhile, the port of California was getting bottlenecked with ships. But anyway, Peter was asked, when will the prices of gas come down? He replied, as soon as everyone gets a electric car the way we want them to. Think about that reply for a minute. Like we want them to. So, all of this is staged. Bernie Sanders. Y'all, this may not be popular, what I'm going to say, but hell, most of the stuff that I say is not popular. But a lot of people are saying they want Bernie Sanders for president. And while I agree, Bernie Sanders is fighting hard for Social Security, SSI, SSDI, and VA. He's fighting very hard for them. But y'all, don't forget, he don't get a whole lot of support. He's an independent, and de Democrats and Republicans will not support him. I mean, yes, he's putting up a great fight right now for the people, and I applaud him for that. But his track record of getting stuff done is not very good. He tries his hardest, but the other sides will not back him. Y'all also don't forget everyone can come up with a good few months of ideas and Bernie Sanders has been fighting like hell for the senior citizens the disabled he's been fighting like hell for them but, but, but don't forget before he jumped on this bandwagon he was pure socialist. I mean, he stood for everything socialist before this. He's got a good run right now. 
but I would think twice before you put him in office as president. But I do applaud everything he's doing right now. Okay, we're going to go ahead and cover this Social Security thing right now. Y'all, a lot of people will say that this is not good news because it's not about a stimulus check. And they will put in the comments, it's not good news until we get a stimulus check. Save those comments. I've seen it a million times. I don't need to see that no more. We will get a stimulus check. When? I don't know. How much? I don't know. But this good news, what I'm going to tell you right now is, well, it's going to start out as sounding like bad news, but stick with me. It looks like the government will shut down. And we've seen this before, and we're going to see it again. We are already seeing it in regular TV news and in the tabloids everywhere. We're seeing it, and we will start seeing it here on YouTube also. That if they shut down, you won't get your social security checks, your disabled, your disability checks. I've told y'all time and time again. I mean, I told you last time, and I was right. I told you the time before that, and I was right. We've had shutdowns before, and we got through them. Everybody got their checks on time. We will have shutdowns in the future, and we'll get through them, and everybody will still get their checks on time. Y'all, is a the Social Security checks are backed by a trust fund. They're not coming out of the general fund. So your social security checks are safe, 100%. So anytime you see someone saying that you may not get your check, your check may not be on time, they're lying to you to get your click. They're lying to you to, they're just lying to you. Trust me on this. I've told y'all before, I'm telling you again, you will get your checks. They will be on time. Now, the one caveat I would say is, the only thing that could happen to your check is there would be less people working in these government positions that processes checks. So your check could be a few days late, could be a day late. It never has been late, so most likely it will never be late. You'll always get it on time. Just rest assured, do not listen to these clickbaiters that say you won't get your check because you will get your check. Okay, I'm going to answer a few questions, and if I sound snarky with these answers, some of these questions deserve snarkiness. Is snarkiness a word? I just made it up. People keep asking me, when is the midterm elections? The midterm elections is a year away, November the 8th of 2022. I know it's a long way away. But we have to keep our eyes set on that date and we need to get all of these clowns out of office then. Someone asked in the comments, what does Joe Manchin mean the Democrats is rushing to pass this bill? It's been seven months. Yeah, it has been seven months in the making, but now that they've got what they want, their wish list, their shopping list, their parks and whatever else garbage they got in there, they want it passed right now. So the chances of them not losing their park, not losing all that garbage, they will get what they want by passing it fast. What well, Joe Manchin says, no, we want to understand it. We want to go through this. That's what Joe Manchin means. He's not going to rush that vote through. He's going to understand every nuance of that bill before he votes on it. Someone asked, how do I know who needs a stimulus check and who don't? Well, that's real simple and this will not be popular. Older people, disabled people, uh, people on very low income, no income, they're the ones that needs a stimulus check. 
able-bodied young people that can work but decide not to because they're waiting on a stimulus check when there's 11 million jobs out there and there's only 7 million people on unemployment? Those are the people that don't need it. If you're able to work, get a job. If one job won't pay your bills, get two jobs. People have done it forever. Get off your lazy ass and go to work. Donald Murray said, Walter, don't blame China for this pandemic. It's our lawmakers' fault. Okay, I'm sorry. Donald, I am so sorry. I'm going to apologize to China right now. China, I am so sorry that I offended y'all in any way by saying that this was your fault. I mean, after all, you did kill millions of people with your virus that you released to the air so it would go around the world, and killing millions of people, but I'm sorry if I offended you. You happy now, Donald? Sonny Brooks, Sonny Brooks Collins said, If if I'm too blind to see how good President Joe Biden is, then I'm a waste of her time. Sonny, see you later. Ciao. Nathan Tibbs asks, Does anyone really think the next president will do any better for the American people than what we have now? Nathan, uh, it all depends on who you vote for. Uh, it all depends on who's running. Can't tell right now. But really and truly, can they be much worse than what we got right now? Shirley Monty said Trump will never be president because it's enough racism racism in the world with that Shirley was blocked she was banned from the from my channel anytime anyone tries to bring race into these comments they will be blocked they will be banned from this channel because there is no room on my channel for any type of racism you don't know me you don't know my household y'all I love you all if you want your comments put over on we the people put you Put it, uh, we the people, in the beginning so we can take it over there for you. Keep your faith in Jesus Christ. He will get us through all of this. Say a prayer for our world. Say a prayer for our country. Say a prayer for our leaders. Say a prayer for everyone around the world hurting through COVID, financial hardship, or any other affliction. And just know I love you all. Until next time, ciao.